It's Thursday, June 30th. I'm David Song, currency analyst with Daily FX, and we may see the Aussie dollar face increased volatility ahead of the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision scheduled for the week ahead, as we do have some important data coming out of China, Australia's largest trading partner. So overnight, we'll be keeping a very close eye on those purchasing managers indices for service space activity, for manufacturing as well. But as we're looking for a bit of a downtick in those figures, we may see that not only weigh on some of these higher beta currencies, but may ultimately weigh on market sentiment as well. So we'll see how those dynamics will fare going into the first full week of July. But as we do face also a big holiday weekend in the U.S., just be mindful that we may face some thin market conditions going into the coming days. But with that said, I don't want to get too bearish here on the Aussie as we have broken out of this bearish formation carried over from towards the end of April. So as a result, we'll see if we have a larger recovery on our hands. And again, we may see the Aussie dollar come under greater pressure overnight if we do see some decimal prints out of China. May see us revisit the weekly lows right around that 73.20, 73.30 zone. So we'll keep that on the radar. But as we're doing a very good job of holding well above the monthly opening range here and holding above a former resistance zone here right around that 72.40 into the 72.70 zone. We'll stay broadly constructive on the Aussie dollar exchange rate, but we do have some near-term hurdles over the near term that we need to get back above for us to have a little bit more of a bullish outlook for the Aussie dollar and in regards to the RBA. And even though the central bank is widely anticipated to retain their current policy next month, we'll see whether or not we get more of the same from Governor Stevens and company. We'll see if the central bank will largely endorse this wait and see approach as we're still seeing lingering bets of seeing additional monetary support, especially on the backdrop of the weakening out for global growth. So if we do see the RBA continue to endorse a neutral stance for monetary policy going forward, may give the Aussie a nice bounce over the days ahead. So we'll keep that we'll keep that on the back of our minds. But the first hurdle comes in right around that 7490, 75 handle. If we do get a nice closing price above that region, may see a larger risk of seeing a move back towards those monthly highs right around this longer dating 786 retrace around that 7640, 7650 zone. So we'll keep those levels on the radar over the near term. But of course, we'll see if we get anything meaningful, anything new from the RBA next week. But in regards to the dollar index, we also have a lot of Fed officials on the wires over the coming days as well. We will hear from Mr. James Buller tomorrow. Again, a 26, uh, excuse me, later on this afternoon, a 2016 voting member. And early next week, we will be getting some fresh comments from New York Fed President Mr. William Dudley as well. And of course, we'll take a look at the Federal Reserve meeting minutes. Even though we got the updated, updated forecast from the central bank, we'll see if the policy statement will reveal anything new, anything meaningful for us to chew on. But nevertheless, I also want to stay broadly supportive of the Green Mac here, as it looks as though we could be at a risk for a further deterioration in risk appetite, maybe a further pickup in the flight to quality here. So we'll see how these dynamics will fare over the coming days. But, you know, as we've broken out of this downward trending channel from earlier this year, I want to stay broadly supportive. And for now, at least on mine, it looks as though we are still stuck in this sort of uh, continuation pattern here, this bull flag formation. So we'll look for a nice break to the top side to favor further advance in the greenback. And of course, we'll continue to watch this near term hurdle right around that 12,050 into the 12,060 zone. But we do have a meaningful data print out of the US tomorrow as well. We'll be watching the ISM manufacturing survey. And as we do have US non farm payrolls on tap next Friday, we'll be keeping a very close eye on those key dynamics. We'll be digging into the employment component for the ISM manufacturing survey. We'll see how that will all fare for NFP expectations. But for now, looking at the technical pattern, and as we're doing a pretty good job of holding above this 11,950 into the 965 zone, want to stay broadly supportive here, especially as we're breaking out of some of the bearish formations, not only in price, but also in terms of the RSI signature as well. So of course, we'll see how ISM manufacturing will fare, not only for near-term price, price action, but also for the broader monetary policy outlook as we are seeing market participants push out bets for the next Fed rate hike. And, and if you guys are watching Fed Funds Futures, largely pricing no rate hike for 2016. So of course, we'll see how interest rate expectations fare over the coming days, over the coming weeks as well. But again, a bit of caution here, guys, heading into the weekend. Again, we may see a continuation of these thin market conditions going into the holiday weekend. But of course, we'll pick things back up next week. We'll see how some of these larger fundamentals, these key market relationships and of course these key dynamics that drives market volatility will fare going into july but with all that out of the way the best of luck on all your trades and again stay nimble here heading into the holiday weekend but have a great day guys and of course we'll pick things back up over the coming days and of course we'll see how all these things will fare for the near term as well as the long-term outlook for some of these major currencies